Hi beauties, welcome to my channel HI Beauty by Yulia. I'm Yulia and the topic for today is about men's skincare. Is men's skin really that much different than ours? Do they really need different skincare? Can you steal your boyfriend's cream or he can steal maybe yours? Let's see. <laughs> Is there any difference between male skin and female skin? Well, the short answer is yes. There are two different aspects when we talk about differences. One is caused by hormones. So testosterone and estrogen work very differently to our skin. There were a few studies done to children, boys and girls, pre-puberty age, and scientists found that their skin is the same. But during puberty, so many changes happen. So actually, skin in boys and girls become very, very different. And we do have a second aspect of differences between our skin, and that's our different approach. You see, we women, we tend to use a lot of products. We take care a bit more, I'll say, in general, for our skin than men. Men like multi-purpose products and as little as possible, sometimes even no products at all. So our approach towards skincare is very different as well. They found that men have better hydration, less transepidermal water loss, better circulation, thicker skin, they are more prone to pigmentation, and they produce more sebum. As for women, we have slightly higher pH level. <laughs> With all that being said, there are not so huge differences between the statistics for female and male. So in both sexes, the transepidermal water loss is getting higher with age, the hydration is getting worse, we are breaking down collagen with age, so we are losing part of it. So this video is looking into female and male skin in general. That obviously does not mean that everyone's skin will be like this. Just like in general, women's skin is considered to be drier than men. That obviously doesn't mean that you can't be a woman with oily skin. So I do want you to keep this one on mind. Now, let's start with the 10 differences between men and women when we talk about skin. First, testosterone. We both produce testosterone, but men produce 300% more than women do. Therefore, the skin is different. So they produce, because of testosterone, much more sebum than women. This might not look very desiring, but actually sebum is covering the skin, so it will provide better protection, which means less sensitivity. Also because of the sebum, the transepidermal water loss or the water evaporated from the skin surface is less because the sebum creates a film, so it keeps the water inside. Male sebum actually is thicker as texture than women's and this is also triggered because of testosterone. Some people might suggest that men have more collagen than women that's not exactly the case. You see, we both have collagen. It is the most abundant protein in our body. But the difference is the density. You see, the fibers of collagen in women are different. I'm gonna use some visual help. If these here are the collagen fibers in women, if there's fat, and it's trying to get to the surface, it might do so this way. So, not so difficult really. And with men, the way that the fibers look like is different because they're more or less crossed like this. Now, because of this position, when fat is trying to get to the surface, it just 
it just can't it's much more difficult and that's the reason why women are so much more prone to cellulite because the fat cells can actually travel to the surface of the skin now before you decide that we don't like men because of this I'll have to say that most of the scientists believe that the reason for this is because woman's skin, especially around the pelvic region, has to be very elastic because of childbearing. That's why our collagen look different than collagen in men. So again, evolution is the reason, not men. We all have heard the saying that men have thicker skin than women, but from scientific point of view it's actually true once again because of the difference into collagen density men have around 25 percent thicker skin than women and that's why it's believed that women are more prone to wrinkles they simply have thinner skin some scientists will even say that women will look 15 years older than men the same age but i think this is quite exaggerated because, because men have different collagen they have thicker skin they produce more sebum so their sebaceous glands the glands that are producing oil are more active and more prominent because they're simply larger facial hair is very different in men and women beard is going to provide protection from uv it will keep the moisture inside and in the same time if you're shaving regularly it might go the other way so your skin might be very irritated and sensitive there were some studies done into comparing ph levels of skin in men and women and it was found that men have lower ph level but it's only 0.05 so the difference is not so great you know, women experience menopause and this is changing a lot in our skin because hormonal levels change very drastically so we might experience higher sensitivity drier skin pigmentation even acne so it it really is there is no rule in general it is considered then in the first five years during the menopause your collagen levels will drop drastically so your skin should get much drier but indeed because of the hormonal changes you might experience hormonal acne <laughs> women started to use much more SPF in the past few years you can see it in a lot of the makeups BB cream CC cream so we are seems to be much better into applying and reapplying SPF also factors like our environment because often men's job is actually outdoor plus the fact that it seems that in general studies men have less visits with the doctor than women so all of these three seems to be combination in why actually after the age of 50 men are twice as much likely to suffer from skin cancer than women so if you have someone next to you a male just let them know how important is the sun protection it's not only about wrinkles it's about your health because in large men still believe that skincare is a woman thing they will buy one product that will promise them everything and it's very likely to be some kind of multi-purpose I'm sure you know about their face wash, shampoo and shower gel all in one. They might actually use it for shaving as well. I just wanted to say that I apologize if you can't hear me very well today. Unfortunately, I had an issue with my microphone and now it started to rain on the top of everything. So I apologize if the sound quality is not so great for the video today. There are some researches done on the fact that men are getting more and more sensitive skin because it is irritated from the bad products that they are at large using. When we talk about behavior, obviously shaving will be a big one. 
because of shaving men are exfoliating their skin which might be a great thing because they remove the dead skin cells from the surface of the skin but in the same time it might be something very irritating because they are stripping everything so they impair their skin barrier and that's why sensitivity is higher especially after straight away after they shave so it's very important to soothe the skin afterwards and not apply after a shave with an alcohol base <laughs> Did you know that women are paying pink tax? Probably you didn't. So here's the thing. There was a study done. It's very interesting. You can check the description box. I will add on a link. So it was done in the States. And for instance, they were, they were looking into similar products, basically the same product, just different colors, say a razor for men, which was blue and razor for women, which was pink. And what the study found was that women's items are actually 13% more expensive than the same items for men. So this is what we call pin tax. Obviously there's the difference with the name as well. So while with women you can see something like gentle exfoliating rose petals toner for invigorating morning, with men, it's something like energy fuel type of, I don't know, citrusy, minty toner. There's definitely different texture when we talk about products. Men enjoy light texture, so they go for things like gels. While with women, we go for oils and balms and creams. If you're a woman that doesn't like this type of products, and especially if your skin is oily, you will go for a mattifying type of cream for during the day just like usually most of the men will do but once again we are talking about general type of studies some of the brands might prefer to use different delivery system and higher quantities of actives in men's skincare the reason is once again because of thicker skin more sebum hair follicles the product is able to penetrate deep into the skin only if the delivery system is very good and the actives they just have to penetrate very deep into the skin in order for them to work therefore sometimes men's skincare might be a bit too aggressive if you're a woman with dry skin which is sensitive but in the same time the fact that you are men doesn't mean that say one percent retinol will be good for you Washing your face with a cleanser morning and evening is definitely very essential for both sexes. Then we are talking about moisturizer. You need night moisturizer if you are men as well. And it's because, as I said, although it's more gradually, you are losing collagen, you will be losing more water with age. So you need some kind of repair, you need some kind of hydration. So that's the type of moisturizer you will be looking for. For the evening and then for the day it is very very essential as i said spf for those one who want to add on something extra active so if your skin is oily then you should try something like salicylic acid product it might be a wash it might be lotion serum really up to you Salicylic acid is oil soluble, which means that it will be able to penetrate to the waxy surface of the skin. So your oiliness, it will go deep into the pore, it will remove the dirt, it will remove the excess oil and it will clean nicely your skin. So if you have oily skin, if you have acne, you are suffering from breakouts, salicylic acid is great add-on. Now, if you're looking for some kind of exfoliation, which is a bit more for mature skin, if you're suffering from uneven skin tone, a rough texture of the skin, and you look for something a bit more anti-aging, then you can try something like retinol. Retinol is a great ingredient. It has a lot of benefits for the skin. You just have to be gently introducing it into your skincare routine and use it only in the evening my point and my take is you should not look if it, a product is 
for men or for a woman. You should look for the ingredients list. You should look for your concern in your skin. But let's go with the men's skincare here. The first one is from a brand which is called Horus. It's a French and it's a quite affordable as well. They have a lovely cleanser which is unscented and it's something like 11 pounds, 200 milliliters. Uh, inside you have aloe vera and charcoal. They also have a rich moisturizer which also has a lot of great ingredients inside. Now, a few of their products do have perfume, so if you suffer from some kind of sensitivity or you want to avoid, just have a look on the label. There's a brand called Temple. They have lovely moisturizer, which has apricot kernel um, oil inside and even fix. I mean, it has hyaluronic acid, a few different oils inside, like grapeseed oil. The Fellowship is another brand that you can add into your skincare routine. They are British, natural, vegan, cruelty-free brand. The product that I wanted to mention is their Advanced Moisturizer. It has inside borash and sweet almond oil, sea buckthorn. So it's a great add-on into your skincare routine. Anthony SPF 30 Day Cream and it's another brand which is uh, also for men's skincare. Now, unfortunately, this one is a chemical SPF. If you want to know a little bit more about those one, you can check over here, I'll add on the link as well. But it's a great light texture SPF product. If you I hope you enjoyed the video and I gave you enough information to take some informed decisions about your skincare routine, whether you're man or woman, please consider subscribing to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And thank you very much for watching.